Cap 26 here, just a tips, appears and hobbies. And we've got a container here for um, airbrush container. Hopefully we can get some of this junk off of it. I don't know if we can. Let me try. There we go. Keep working it around. I'm using a chisel. And we got the printer going in the background for some tools. here going around this is what you call support material and there's some support material in there so we're going to go and dig this plug out like so we should be wearing our gloves we're not wearing our gloves we should be. Pull this out. That's all support material. What a mess, huh? Put that in the garbage. And grab some pliers. <coughs> there we go. Pull it out. support material I'll show you what this is I see all the support materials out of there now and I got to get that plug in there just pricked myself that hurt I should have worn my gloves I mean I got the gloves over there and uh, put those tools aside, but there's a little plug in there we have to dig out. And just push it in like that. Okay, get rid of this. And this is a uh, airbrush. An airbrush container okay and it's got see the little slot here it matches up right there okay it's got a little hole and you put your airbrush in there it's supposed to stay and I hope it stays hmm I mean, it's got to be, you got to, you got to be able to take it off to empty it. So, I don't know why it's not. It's a poor design. Does it lock? doesn't lock. Put it off to the side. Well, that's no good. You go to put your brush and it flips up. <clears throat> Let's see. Get this weight. Oh, that'll work. Put the weight on top of it. Um, I wonder how we could rec rectify that, huh? You guys, anybody know? I don't want to glue it down. Um. Hmm. Little piece of tape, maybe. Try a little little piece of tape. Take that off. And put some tape on there. Like that. See like that. Hold it over. And then let's try it that way. 
Oh, that works. A little piece of tape on the back side of it. So if you make this, put a little piece of tape, tape on the back side. I'm going to put two pieces of tape on the back side. So it locks in there, you know, nicely. Like that. Nice and snug. I need a smaller one. I have a big one down there that I use that you've seen before. But a small one would be nice. Plus I got the stand. You know, I can stand it and put it over there. So that's what I made with my 3D printer, the X-Carbon Bamboo Lab. And it didn't take long, maybe uh, two and a half hours to print that. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please rate and subscribe. Uh, give the thumbs up and God bless you always. Bye for now.